Welcome to your high school sports Sevier County Game of the Week, presented by Krispy Kreme Donuts. Tonight's game will feature a county rivalry, a district rivalry as well. The Northview Cougars travel up to Gatlinburg to take on the Highlanders. When we come back here on your high school sports Sevier County Game of the Week, Chris Reddick is going to catch up with Coach Derek Rang of the Highlanders. So make sure you stay right here on Channel 180. Coming up tonight, the Sevier County Game of the Week. Five Oaks Tires, carrying top name brands Michelin Tires and BF Goodwrench Tires. Visit FiveOaksTire.com. Located on 1425 Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, or call Five Oaks Tires at 865 453 3469. Welcome back to the pregame show for this week's Sevier County Game of the Week. Coach Todd Loveday is here. His Cougars take on GP Highlanders tonight. Talk about this game and what it means to you. It is, besides being a county rivalry, right. it is first conference game for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, you know, like you said, first conference game. That's, a, you know, you play to get in the playoffs and, uh, you know, conference games are top of the list and you, you got to get those wins uh, to put yourself in position that way you're not counting on everybody else toward the end of the year. And obviously it's in the county and uh, uh, it just makes it fun. And it's, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of rare you have three teams uh, in our Three schools in our county in the, in the same region. Just uh, last year, it seems like everybody kind of beat up on each other, and uh, uh, it's you know it'd be, it'd be something to get all of us in. But you know we're worried about uh, we're worried about Northview and, and what we're doing, and uh, we just hope we give our best game. What do you got to do to to beat GP? You know we you know first road game of the year too. I mean it's uh, there's all kinds of firsts, but uh, you know we we've never really stressed if you play at home or away. We just we just try to do what we do and uh, lock in on on the, the task at hand. Um, and, you know, but I'm sure emotions be running high on both sides, and uh, whoever can uh, weather all that and the ebbs and flows of the game will come out on top. You know, what do you find GP's strengths versus your defense? I mean, the first thing that pops out to me on film is, is their size. So they're pretty big up front and um, got a good, uh, good little scheme uh, on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's and uh, not have any mental breakdowns at all. All right, last question. What does Northview have to do tonight to win this game? First things first, we, we can't beat ourselves. We can't we can't give them short fields. Uh, we can't give them extra possessions. Uh, we we got to take advantage of any uh, of any mistake they make. We got to take advantage of it. All right, Coach Todd Monday. Hey, that's right. It's almost game time. The your high school sports game of the week. That's right against. GP Gatlinburg Pittman is going to be taking on Northview and right beside me I have the head coach of Gatlinburg Pittman coach Rang and coach Rang let's get right into it what's I know you just come off a loss with Oneida but what's what's what you're gonna to have to do this week to turn things around well number one I think you have to play a clean football game uh, we feel like against Oneida made a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes that kind of led to points and uh, you know just got to be able to you know clean up our mistakes and not turn the ball over as much on special teams and then you know, defensively, he's got to swarm to the football and maybe force a couple turnovers. So I look to bounce back this week and, uh, you know, think the kids are ready to go. All right. Well, good luck to you, Coach, and uh, hopefully you can get a win this week. Tonight's an important region matchup, Class 3A Region 2 game between Northview Academy and Gatlinburg Pitt. The Northview Academy trying to find their way this season. They're 1-1. One and one. You're going to find a lot of multiple offense, a lot of multiple defense. They're trying to find what works for them in this first region battle. For the home team, Gatlinburg Pittman, Coach Derek Rang's group has an experienced and big offensive line. They're going to try to run first, throw second, and they're going to try to run it behind the legs of Bryce Akey and Pierce Hammonds. Their receiver, Ethan, Esbrook, Ethan Eastbrook, is another great receiver. They're going to try to get it to him as many times as they can as well, but they are definitely going to use their strength, which is their offensive line. So look for a good one tonight in the first region battle of 2018 for these two teams.
At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour, so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. Well, fans, I hope you've enjoyed this pregame show for the Severe County Game of the Week. We've set it up. Ralph's talked about both teams. He gave his five keys to the game. Chris Reddick caught up with Coach Rang, and yours truly talked to Coach Loveday out at Northview. I hope you're ready. Let's send it down to the Krispy Kreme team, and you enjoy tonight's game. Hey, it's Chris Reddick, and you know what? It's the pregame, but you know we always celebrate with some Krispy Kreme donuts, and I have a few gentlemen right here that's going to try some Krispy Kreme donuts. But first, you got to wear a hat like me, man. Put that hat on. Yeah, check it out. All right, what they're going to do, they're going to try some of these delicious, uh-oh, football donuts there. Check this out, guys. Now, what you do, grab one. Don't eat one yet. Grab one. Grab one. All right. Now, since this is a football game, I'm going to give it to you on the second go. I'm going to say, ready, set, go, go. Don't go off sides, okay? All right, ready, set, go, go. Uh, tell us what you think. Pretty good. And what do you think? It's pretty good, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, do you have any other friends that you'd like to share some of these donuts with? Uh, we're not here right now, but... Um, yeah, give it to Bryce, my boy right here. Okay. Uh, right. Give it to Coach Harker Road, uh, men's basketball coach. Okay. Right over here. Coach, Coach Harker Road. Coach Harker Road. Harker Road. Come try a donut. Get Clark, get Clark <laughs> Mr. Clark. As you can see, he's grabbing a few of his friends for some donuts here. All right, grab you one of the donuts. I'm going to try a donut. Look here. You get, more, you get more playing time now. All right, take a bite. Tell us what you think. Good. Awesome, awesome. Good. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're welcome. There you have it. Once again, they enjoy our Krispy Kreme donuts. We'll be back at halftime to find out our question of the game to see who's going to win some more of these delicious donuts. Welcome in to your high school sports here on Charter Channel 180. Good evening, folks. I'm Norman Plumley alongside Ralph Miranda, and we're excited to be at Gatlinburg Pittman High School tonight as the Highlanders entertain Northview Academy. Ralph, good to be back in the saddle with you, and a big region matchup tonight as these two teams come in, uh, both of them one and one, uh, and uh, looking for a big region victory here early on in this campaign. Norman, it's great to work with you again. It's been too long, and uh, you're you're the best at this, and, and I'm glad to be sitting next next to you uh, again. Yeah, this is a big game. Uh, both teams in Region Two, Class Three A, uh, they're in the same region as Alcoa, so you know they're up against the eight ball every year when they start region play. But both teams, as you said, one and one. This is a region matchup, and it's very important for both teams to get off on the right foot. So real quickly, let's take a look at both sides for the Highlanders. What, what can we expect to see tonight? For Gatlinburg-Pittman? Correct. Well, for Gatlinburg-Pittman, they're the home team. Their strength is their offensive line. They have some big offensive linemen. They're experienced. They're going to try to run it first throw at second. They have two excellent running backs, number 15 and number 7, Aki and Hammonds. They're going to try to pound it with those guys and then try to get it to Ethan Eastbrook on the outside, their main receiver. On defense, they're multiple. They're going to do some blitz packages, try to bring pressure and force the action. 
Also, for Northview Academy, taking a look at them, I know that they have a lot of players on the roster, but a lot of players that play both ways. How can that factor in tonight for Northview? Well, it factors in quite a bit this time of year because, as you can tell, it's very humid and it's very hot, and you're on a athletic turf, so that's going to make it even hotter. Right. Northview Academy, you know, this is only their third or fourth year playing varsity football. They're still young. They're still inexperienced. They're still trying to find what's going to work best for them in their one and one start. So look for them to be multiple. Look for them to try different offensive sets, different defensive sets sets try to find that scheme that works best for them here on the road tonight well as always a great synopsis from ralph miranda right now we'll take a commercial break when we come back the kickoff here between gallenberg pittman and northview academy I see that you notice our Krispy Kreme donuts. All right, man. I tell you what. Northview Academy, what's going on? Hey, well, give us a little try. Tell us what you think. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Hold on. yeah. Make sure your gums out of your mouth. There you go. Let's go right here. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. That's delicious. Mmm. Just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Ticket on the campus of Gallenberg Pittman High School, home to Hammond Stadium and Legion Field. It is your high school sports game of the week. Good evening, folks. Norman Plumley alongside Ralph Miranda set to bring you the action tonight. As we told you earlier, a great 3A Region 2 matchup tonight as the Gatlinburg Pittman Highlanders take on the Northview Academy team. And a good one on tap tonight, Ralph. Yes, it is. A first region game for both teams. Very important to get off on the right foot. You definitely don't want to start your region schedule 0-1. So Northview will kick off. Gallenberg Pittman to receive, doing the honors for Northview. That is number 40, Tyson Gillespie. He's a senior. There's the whistle, and we are moments from being underway. Low squibber fielded at the 30. Take it up to the 35, 6, and maybe the 37-yard line where it will be first and 10. That time on the return, Connor Reagan, number 14, for GP. And the Cougars will start things on their own 35-yard line. Look for the Cougars to establish the running game as we talked about in our open. They have a big, experienced offensive line, and they've got two really strong running backs, and uh, they're going to try to pound it right off the bat. GP opens up in the shotgun. At quarterback, Schultz, he can sling it. And they'll move it out for a first down. That's going to be number 15, Bryce Akey. That'll put it, I'm sorry. They're calling it second down. Second down and five. I thought he got enough. My eyes deceived me. That's okay. Second and five for the 42. Again, Schultz in the gun. Two backs behind him, split. He looks right, throws out here in the flat to the 48. And taken down at the 50, possibly the 49. That's uh, number 14, I'm sorry, number 18, Drew Law for the Cougars. Hannon with the tackle, and that'll be first and 10 for GP. From the 49, just underway, we've played 55 seconds. 
Here's the give up the middle, and good for maybe a couple of yards that time. That's Aiki. And they'll spot that at the 47. You know, Norman, lots of teams go into this kind of a zone read type offense, and what the quarterback is looking at, Northview Academy showing five guys at the line of scrimmage sometimes backing a man off, and when he sees that 4-4 type look, he's handing it off because they have the numbers at the line of scrimmage. Here's Schultz with four wideouts, two on each side. He'll take a drop and dump it off short at the 50. That's going to be a tackle for a loss, number 77. And there is laundry on the field early. It's going to be a face mask. There on the spot was Jared Duncan, Duncan the big defensive lineman for Northview. As I said, it went for a two-yard loss, but they're going to mark off 15. And that'll move it down to the Northview 34-yard line, first and 10. And uh, via the penalty, that'll be another Claybo's Express Shine car wash, first and 10. First and 10 from the 34. Here's a handoff. Nope, check that. Fooled me. They faked the give to the left side to Hammonds, but Schultz took it. Went the other way and moves it down to about the 31 for a gain of three. A nice play by Dante Reagan, the defensive end there. He's kind of their stud on defense, kind of moving him around a little bit. Can play defensive end on the line, can step back and play kind of a rover linebacker position. Brings up second and seven from the 31. Single wide out right, two left. Schultz is going to keep it and he'll get tripped up. Gains two, maybe three yards down to the 28-29. And, you know, I understand the concept of, of the zone read, but when you've got an offensive line that's that's as big and as strong as Gatlinburg-Pittman, sometimes it's better just to run north-south. You know, just hand it off eye formation or hit them at the point of attack quickly because you give those defensive linemen a chance to, to get off blocks, and so far Gatlinburg-Pittman has not been able to get their running game going. Third and five. First third down conversion attempt by GP here as they're driving. Schultz with a pass out right side, moves it down to the 21. As that time, Lopez, 5'11", 165 junior, hauls it in. Moves it down to the 29 for a gain of two. You know, a lot of teams, Gatlinburg Pittman included, they use that short passing attack kind of like a running game. I mean, it's basically still a run. It's just a very safe short right. pass to kind of pick up the first down. And a lot of times, Coaches and teams will run that play, setting it, setting up something down the line. Exactly. Here's Twins right, one in the slot. And Schultz keeps it. And he's at the 10, at the 5, and he's in for the Highlander touchdown. A TikTok tech service touchdown. Our first one of the game comes at 8:39. As Schultz scampers 29 yards to pay dirt. And if you're Gatlinburg Pittman, that's exactly how you want to start the game. Take the open, opening kickoff, move it down the field with a mixture of runs and short passes, and punch it in the end zone. Couldn't have asked for a better start if you're the home team. 8:39 to go. GP owns a seven-point lead early. Right now, a commercial, and we're back in a moment. At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour, so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. 8.39 to go, first quarter. Gatlinburg-Pittman set to kick off, off uh, after their opening drive touchdown. 
11 plays, unofficially 11 plays, 48 yards, covered 4 minutes, 21 seconds. And Northview Academy set to get the ball the first time this matchup. Bryson Flynn, your kicker, he's a sophomore. And they'll blow that one dead before it can even get off. So we got an offside penalty against Gatlinburg Pittman. Yep. Flag on the play. You know, it's interesting, Norman, one of the rules that they've changed now in the NFL is you're on your kickoff team, the, the kick team cannot take a, get a running start. They used to be able to get a five-yard running start. As you can see here with the high school kids, they'll get a running start before the kicker kicks it. They've changed that now in the NFL in the interest of protection, you know, to try to prevent speed from building up on some of these guys. So we'll see how long it takes something like that maybe to filter down to the high school level. So the question is how long until that trickles down to this level yeah that's the question i would imagine pretty quickly if they if they decide that it's you know lower the amount of injuries you see on kickoffs right so here's flynn tees it up a second time it's a pretty good leg on it that'll be picked up at the eight yard line return man for number uh for northview rather number two that's eric chandler tackle by Tennant for caliber Pittman. Chandler takes it out to the 31. So that's going to be about a, we'll call it a 23-yard return. So first and 10 from the 31 for the Cougars. They'll open up with three receivers set right side. Here's a give up the middle. A few yards there is... Gatlinburg Pittman handles that run pretty good. Second down and five, he picks up five. From the 36, trip split way out left in the gun, and they'll give it up the middle again. And that looks like enough for a first down. What they're doing, Norman, is Northview Academy is trying to give Gatlinburg Pittman a look with those three receivers to try to get guys out of the box. They're pulling the backside guard. And if you're the linebacker, when you see that backside guard pull, you've got to fill that hole immediately. That's the only way you can stop it. First and 10 from the 42 after the six yard pickup. Little out pass that's not going to get anything, might lose a yard. So, no gain, second down and 10. Again, same formation with those re receivers split way out to the numbers. And that's going to be a play for a loss as the GP defense swarmed. That time, Howard with a tackle leading the charge. Brings up third down. And again, Howard, they're doing exactly what I said. When you see when you see a hole open up, you got to fill it. Howard, the linebacker, did a good job that time of making initial contact and uh, contacting the Northview Academy runner in the backfield. Third and 11, 7.05 to go first quarter as Gallenberg Pittman leads 7 to nothing. Reagan in the gun. Two receivers each side. And ball on the ground. Not sure who got it just yet. Gallenberg Pittman says they have it, and so does the official. So with 6.46 to go, that time covering recovering the fumble, Hayden Profit, and the ball goes over to the Highlanders. And basically, again, as I said, Northview Academy trying to basically fool Gatlinburg Pittman with that double twin set. And really, Gatlinburg Pittman is not buying it. I mean, they're keeping those guys in the box, and what Northview's going to have to do is throw to some of those guys down the field to loosen the box. 
Here's Schultz, fakes the pass out. And there's a man wide open, touchdown. and there's another touchdown. This time Schultz going 36 yards. The touchdown complete to Carlitos Lopez. And just like that, GP up 13 to nothing. And again, a good play by Gatlinburg Pittman. You know, when you have a sudden change like that and you get a turnover, try to go deep. Try to hit him right away with a shock pass, and that's exactly what Gatlinburg Pittman did. Point after attempt coming up. And it's up and good. 6.38 to go. Gallenberg Pittman leading Northview Academy 14 to nothing. We're back in a moment. Six thirty-eight to go, and on that last touchdown play of 36 yards, one play took eight seconds. Ralph, a good fake that time by Schultz. Yeah, Schultz did a good job. What he did is he looked off the safety. He was looking right, and, and that look to the right froze the safety just enough to give his receiver, receiver a chance to clear down the middle of the field on the post pattern. So excellent play by the quarterback. That's exactly what you're taught to do. Here's the kick fielded at the four. Waiting for some defenders to set up, and Northview Academy gets it out to about the 18-yard line. That was number two for the Cougars, Chandler. You know, very important here now, Norman. I mean, you're down 14 to nothing. We haven't even reached the midway point of the first quarter. If you're Northview Academy here, you've got to be able to establish a drive. You've got to give your defense a little chance to rest. The only way you're going to do that is you've got to get some first downs. Try to flip the field position. First and 10 from the 17. This will be a quarterback keeper left side with nothing there. Might have picked up one. We'll wait for the mark. Reagan on the carry. As Reagan tried to follow that big line to the left side. You know, we talked a little bit about, or we, we were talking a little bit before we got started about the fact that Gatlinburg Pittman lost over 300 tackles by three linebackers that, that graduated. These three guys that they've got, while they're young and inexperienced so far, they're making excellent reads and they're, they're filling the holes properly and you're getting good play from the linebackers right now. No game brings up second and 10. Clock rolling with 5.20 to go. Low snap, fielded though. And there again, the entire Gatlinburg Pittman defensive unit in on that tackle. And Northview Academy right now, Norman, I mean, they're, they're a step too slow. I mean, the plays, the plays are not developing fast enough right now, and it's giving Gatlinburg Pittman a chance to, uh, to get to the ball, to get to the point of attack. That time, Reagan picks up four yards, moves it up to the 21. Third and six with Reagan in the gun. He'll look right and overthrows the intended receiver, number five. That's Bryce Pincado. So fourth and six, that'll bring up the punting unit deep. Back deep is Northview Academy. And barring an NFL style punt right now, Gallagher Pittman's gonna get excellent field position. Stint it deep for Pittman. Pretty decent kick. It's going to carry just over midfield. Stint it picks it up at the 39-yard line. Gets it up to about the 44-yard line, so we'll call it a gain of five, and that time Kellaway in on the tackle for the Cougars. Right now, a defensive stop in any form or fashion would be huge. Yes, it would. It, it's, it's necessary. Otherwise, it's going to be 21-0 before you know it. Schultz in the gun. Highlanders from the 44 pass. And a pitch back to the trailing receiver. That's number seven. That's going to be Hammonds. 
And that's another first down for the Highlanders. Another Claybos Express Shine car wash, first and 10. Moves it down to the 44 of Northview. I throw it deep right here. I, I take another shot. Schultz with a keeper. Did not listen to your advice, Ralph. He did. No, he didn't. But he picks up another Claybos first down. All right, so what you got to do here if you're Northview Academy, I mean, they're basically chewing you up. You've got to you've got to bring some pressure. You've got to shoot a linebacker, blitz a corner, something to cut to try to create some havoc in the Gatlinburg Pittman backfield. 22 yard pickup that time by Schultz. Four minutes to go, opening quarter. Here's a give, left side. And for GP, that's going to be number seven, Hammonds. Here's Hammonds on the carry. Tackle by Callaway for the Cougars. Another Claybos Express Shine car wash, first and ten, and Gatlinburg Pittman just chewing it up right now. Moves it down to the 12 yard line, so that's a gain of 10. <laughs> first and 10 from the 12. off right side and knocking on the door down to about the five yard line so close to a seven yard gain that time and it's going to be achy on the carry smith on the tackle for northview and that was a good play by uh number two eric chandler he turned the play inside and allowed his linebackers to get to the ball excellent play by chandler but that's what i'm talking about chandler's a, a defensive back he was able to come up and pressure that run and force the action we're going to need more of that Second and two from the five. High snap fielded by Schultz. Gives it to Hammonds again. And Hammonds moves it down to about the one yard line. Tackle by Chandler. First and goal, Gallimber Pittman. First down from the one yard line for the Highlanders. Quarterback sneak? Nope. Nope. They're going to give it to number 15. That is Aki, and Aki scampers one yard for another GP touchdown. And Norman, you're not, you're not getting any penetration right now. I mean, Northview Academy is not getting any penetration from their defensive line. The blockers are getting on the linebackers, and the running backs have three, four yards before they're even getting first contact. A lot of adjustments to be made right now for Northview Academy, and after that third TikTok tax service touchdown by Gatlinburg Pittman. Kick is up and good and with 2.43 to go first quarter it's GP 21 Northview Academy nothing. Mmm just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. 2.43 to go. Gallenberg kicking off for the third time in this opening quarter as they lead Northview Academy 21 to nothing. Norman Plumley alongside Ralph Miranda from Gallenberg Pittman High School. Glad you're joining us here on Charter 180. As this kick is touched at about the three and then touchback. is called for the touchback as it gets through the hands of Number 22 for Northview, that's Nail. All right, so we talked about this last time, and it's even more imperative now. You're down 21 nothing. You're still in the first quarter. If you're Northview Academy, you've got to figure out something here. You've got to find some kind of system or scheme that allows you to move this ball a little bit, get some first downs, give your defense a chance to rest. And they're also playing a lot of guys both ways, so that, that has an effect on them as well. Now they've gone to a more traditional set with more linemen. And they're still not getting anything. Right 
So a little give up the middle results in a few yards, and word from the sideline is possibly a new quarterback for Northview coming in, number 17. And that's going to be Decker, Samuel Decker, a junior. And you mentioned that he would come in on the third series, but I guess they waited till the, the fourth series. So a gain of one makes it second and nine. Looks like the same play again up the middle, and this time it's stuffed out. Looks like it's no gain. And Norman, you're, you're not getting, I mean, you're, you're running backs, your running backs have nowhere to go. I mean, you're not getting any pennant, you're not getting any push from the offensive line. I mean, before they even get to the line, they're, they're being encountered by defensive, defensive players. So all of a sudden, after a loss of one, that brings up third and 10 from the 20. You know, another thing that you face if you're Northview for the coaching staff is keeping these kids motivated right. and not letting it totally get out of hand at this point. Oh. Here's a little slant route at the 30. Pass was on the money, but yeah. incomplete. And that was their first, first best chance at a first down. Back deep for Gatlinburg Pittman to return. That's number 11, Ethan Stennett, as he awaits the kick from Samuel Decker. So three and out, punt is away, almost blocked. Got it off, a nice tight spiral, filled it at the 48, and there's where Gatlinburg Pittman will put it in play with 111 first quarter. You know, it's tough on some of these teams, Norman, like a Northview Academy, and I'm sure Gatlinburg Pittman has it to a degree, but when you've got so many guys playing both ways, not only is it hot and humid, but you get behind and it's difficult, it's difficult to get that motivation. All right. First and 10 from the 48. Schultz in the gun. Hand off up the middle. Initially looked like he was going to break into Northview territory, but pushed back, and they're going to mark that right at the 50 as that time, um, sorry, lost my spot Number there. Number 10, uh, Elijah Likes with the tackle. And watch, watch, the, watch the Northview linebackers. They've got their hands on their, on their thighs. I mean, they're, they're tired. I mean, you can tell they're tired. They've been on the field a lot tonight so far in the first quarter. Can't play linebacker like that. Schultz in the gun, pass out here left side. Nice little gain and nice play. Yep. Goes down to the 45, that time number 25, Trevor Faulkner with the reception. Good for five yards. But that was a nice play by Seth Sauls, the linebacker, the junior. He's one of the, one of the guys they count on on defense. Big play here for Northview. Third and eight, they've got to stop him. And there's movement on the line. Time, time has expired, but I think that whistle blew with one second. Not sure who jumped first. We'll wait for the indication. Our third penalty of the game. And that's going to go against Gatlinburg Pittman. So they'll step it back five yards. So that'll move it back five, and that's the end of the first quarter. After one, it's Gatlinburg Pittman 21, Northview Academy zero. We're back in just a moment. Five Oaks Tires, carrying top name brands, Michelin Tires and BF Goodwrench Tires. Visit fiveoakstire.com. Located on 1425 Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, or call Five Oaks Tires at 865 453 3469. It's your high school sports game of the week. 
presented as always by Krispy Kreme Donuts on the parkway in Pigeon Forge. Hot and ready, look for the hot light daily, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. That's Krispy Kreme Donuts on the parkway in Pigeon Forge. Second quarter about to begin. The Highlanders lead the Northview Academy Cougars 21 to nothing. Here's Schultz running for his life and he's gonna go down. Good defensive play for Northview. Number five, Bryce Pincado forced the action, and then it was cleaned up by the corner, and that's the first big defensive stop that Northview Academy's been able to get. Moves it back to the 46, so a loss of four. Brings up fourth and eight, so GP will punt for the first time tonight. Running kick takes off from the 37. It's going to be fielded at the 11. So a few yards on the return, but then a host of Gatlinburg Pimp and defenders stops the play, and the Cougars will put it in play at the 17 yard line. Tackled by Howard and Senate for Gatlinburg Pimp. And again, you're getting you're getting good defensive play from Gallenberg Pittman. They they run that three four look off defense. They try to pressure the pressure the offense with their outside linebackers, and uh, it's going to be imperative on Northview Academy to try to get to the outside a little bit. On first and ten from the 17, play comes out here to the 19. That time, nail for. The Cougars brings up second down. And you notice the running back, he had to bounce it outside rather quickly there. They're not getting any penetration on the interior line, and they're not able to run up the middle, so they're having to bounce it outside. And so far, their, their offense are not able to hold the blocks long enough to give their backs a crease. Clock says, uh, scoreboard rather, says second and 19. That's not right. Nope, second and nine. Exactly. So out of the gun, Northview, here's a give up the middle. That'll move it out to about the 23-yard line. Again, Nail, Howard with the tackle for GP. So third down, I have it third down and two from the 23. I didn't major in math, but it's about sim like, simple math is kind of simple. Looks like a, you're about right. Maybe a long two, a short three. Big third down conversion for Northview deep in their own territory. Here comes the pressure. Mm. And that's going to be a sack for Gatlinburg Pittman. Robinson. Leading the charge for the sack, and that's going to take it back to the 15-yard line for a loss of eight. And what you got to do here, Norman, I mean, when you have a defense that is as quick and, and pressure like this, you've got to try to run a little either misdirection, some screens, some delays, some draws, something that gets them to pressure up the field and make that first commitment, and you can catch them, uh, use their speed against them. So a long fourth down. Here's the punt away. That's going to take a Northview bounce and go into Gatlinburg Pickman territory to the, we'll call it the 45 yard line. 8.55 to go in the first half. GP will have it first and 10 from their own 45. Gallenberg Pittman stays in the shotgun set. Here's Schultz faking the handoff, and he is going to say snuff for a loss, but it looks like he made it maybe one yard, two possibly. We're going to give him two. 
call it second and eight. That was good pressure by Northview Academy. They're starting to they're starting to force the action a little bit. Bring some linebackers, shoot some gaps with your corners, try to force Gatlinburg Pittman to make the first move. Actually, it was a two-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 12. Here's an even bigger loss as Northview Academy snuffs that out. They're on the play for the Cougars. Dante Reagan, number nine. That moves it all the way back to the 33, so that's a loss of 10. From the 34, it's going to be third and 22. And again, number 33 there for Northview. That's going to be Seth Sauls. And another good defensive effort by the Cougars. Excellent defensive effort. Seth Sauls with an excellent play from his linebacker spot. And you're starting to see the stars now for Northview Academy step up. Sauls, Chandler. Reagan, you're seeing these guys now start to force the issue. Now they've got to get something going on offense. So Gallenberg Pittman will punt it for the second time tonight. Seven minutes to go here in this first half. Pretty good kick, going to be fielded at the 28. He's got some running room into GP territory for Northview. That's Bryce Pincato. Number five. So that's going to be, by my calculation, a 22, we'll call it 27, 29 yard return. Right now, we'll take a break. We're back in just a moment. At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. 6.54 to go, first half. Gallenberg Pittman leads Northview Academy 21 to nothing. A quick shout out to one of our loyal sponsors, Buddy's Barbecue in Sevierville. 705 Winfield Dunn Parkway. They're across from Lowe's for special events, office parties, family reunions, tailgating, birthdays, company picnics, and weddings. Remember Buddy's Barbecue. They also deliver large orders and events. Call them at 865-428-5001. Here's Northview with the ball back. They're going to go look deep, and there is a pass almost intercepted. Receiver got turned around a little bit that time, Ralph, and the pass was behind him. Yeah, and Eric Chandler, the receiver for Northview Academy, actually did a good job of becoming a defensive back there and preventing the interception. And the word from our sideline guy, Nathan Miranda, who's roaming the sidelines, picking up some information for us, which we would expect. Northview Academy trying to fire up their players. I mean, they're trying to get some excitement, build off some of the success that they've had on the last two series. I mean, if you can get even one score here before the half, that would that would go a long way toward yep. helping Northview Academy. Sure would. So second and ten after the incomplete attempt. And another incomplete pass. Good defense that time by the Highlanders. 
Pryor Howard, the linebacker for Gallenberg Pittman, doing what he's taught to do. I mean, if you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands up. Get your hands in the passing lane. And that time, Northview was not able to navigate the, the outstretched hands of Howard. Well, and when you do that, not only do you get in the line of sight, but like they say, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And sometimes those big paws can knock down a pass. Exactly. Third and 10 from the 48. They're going to go deep one more time, and this time, again, almost intercepted. And so, Northview will punt yet again. Chandler, the intended receiver, and Lopez there to defend initially. You see, you can see the difference in the quarterbacks right now. I mean, the Northview Academy quarterback, he's just taking the snap and throwing to his first receiver. I mean, he was double covered there on the sideline, as opposed to surveying the field, looking where the open man is, maybe looking the safety off. So you can tell Northview not as proficient throwing the football, maybe, as Gatlinburg Pittman is with their short passing attack. Here's a snap on the ground, and somehow fielded, and the punt is away, yeah, and it's fair that caught. Away? That looked like a worm bur burner off the tee box. Yeah, but he got it. it was effective nonetheless. It got there pretty quick, and he did a good job scooping it up to kick it away. Fair caught, and so Gallenberg Pittman with 6.09 to go first half will have it first and 10 from the 15. And we've got a we've got a whistle that stops play for just a minute. That's going to be a timeout. So Northview takes a timeout. We'll take one with him. We are back in just a moment. Six oh nine to go, first and ten for Gatlinburg Pittman deep at their own fifteen. Here's a give. Good play. Right side, and they click off a few yards that time as Hanky carries it. Second down. Moves it up to the nineteen, so we'll call it a gain of four. Second and six. Here's a pitch left side. And nice a few yards there. over there. Yeah. Good play by the linebacker, Seth Sauls. Once again, he's reading his, reading his keys. His defensive lineman now doing a better job of keeping blockers off him. And he was able to diagnose that play and stop it for a minimal gain. Gain of four that time up to the 23. Brings up second and two. Or third and two, rather. Oh, goodness. So a flag on the play. And that's going to go against Northview. So on third and two, the foul gives Gatlinburg Pittman another first down. Another Claybo Express shine car wash first down. Yes. First and 10 from the 28. Little handoff, play comes out right side up to the 35 for a gain of seven. Hanky that time on the run. And we've got a load of laundry on the field yeah. as looks like a late hit, personal foul. I'm not sure what they'll rule it, but three flags go down and there's a Hollander down. Yeah, had to be a late in hit. In some pain. Can't tell who's on the field. I, you know, obviously, 
Nathan, Nathan reported to us again, there's a lot of frustration on the sidelines for Northview Academy among the players. I mean, they're frustrated because nothing they're doing is working. They're a little bit tired, and they got to get through this first half. So lots of medical personnel right now on the field. And so right now I think we'll take this opportunity, we'll take a break, and we'll come right back in just a moment. So the injured Highlander that time is, or was Aiki. He got up on his own power and off the field. The gain went for seven. A sportsman like Pendley moved it up 15 yards, and that'll make it first and 10 for Gallenberg Pittman from midfield. Here's a pass, a long pass out left side, down to the 20, to the 15, and down to the 10 that time. And another flag. That's going to be a late hit on Lopez as he made the reception and went down at the 10 yard line. I think what you're going to have is a face mask more than a late, late hit. It, okay. looked like, it looked like the helmet came off at the end of the play and it looks like it was a face mask penalty. So that'll be half the distance and that'll put the ball at about the four and a half. So here's a first and five for GP from the five. Good defense. They'll move it a couple of yards. And how big would it be Northview right now if they could somehow force Gatlinburg Pittman to try a field goal? Huge stop. This is where you got to summon up every bit of energy that you've got. You're going to have to crowd the line of scrimmage. You're going to have to shoot gaps. And you're going to have to get your two outside guys to keep contained in case they try to get outside. Right now, it looks like they're just going to pound it right down the middle. From the two, second down. Stop Give, again. I believe that was Hammond, number seven. Hammond on the carry. No gain. Okay, so now if I'm Northview Academy, they've tried to run the ball basically up the middle twice. And what you're going to see now, in my view, what, what Gatlinburg Pittman's going to try is they're going to try some sort of either play action or what they call the RPO, the run pass option. The quarterback's going to fake it. He's going to take it outside and see if he can't get in on the corners. I'd be really surprised if they run it right back up the middle. Let's see if the old linebacker is correct. No, they gave it right back up the middle. GP saying they got in. Northview Academy says you didn't. It's all up to the officials and the spot. Fourth down. So fourth down. Looks like it's a gain of one. That's going to be on about the one foot line. You got this far, you got to go for it. Yeah, and now, I mean, now that it's fourth down, I would expect a quarterback sneak is what I would try. 2.25 to go, fourth down and one from the one. And he got it. Quarterback sneak. Schultz with the keeper. Goes under center or just off center underneath, and that's good for another hot underscore. So the fourth TikTok tax service touchdown of the evening for Gatlinburg Pittman. Makes it 27 and I think PAT looking to make it 28. So far you're betting 1,000 on the TikTok tax service. I messed it up the second time I tried it two I, weeks ago. I'm, I'm saying it very deliberately and very slowly, <laughs> which is one and the same. Yes, and, that, and you're doing an excellent <laughs> job. Kick is up and good, but I think, is there a flag? Maybe I, I, don't I think it was a whistle before the play, yeah, I, but I don't think they were ready. Is what, okay. what I think the problem was. So okay. The referees were not ready to put the ball in play. Either that, or they're going to uh, go for two, which I doubt. I doubt they would try that. Let's see. Looks like they took their kicker off the field. I'm so sure why you would go for two? Here. Well, it's almost. Rubbing a little dirt in the wound. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand this at all. To be honest with you, I mean, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Well, regardless of what we think, they did it and they scored. So the two-point conversion makes it 29 to nothing with 2:17 to go in the first half.
Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge.